Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, first round match between Agralius and his Vampires and Guido Baggins and his Dark Elves. I think Guido Baggins got the final last time, didn't he? Or recently anyway. Um, he's got a decent team, but not too exciting, right? There's a couple of move-ups, a couple of guards, uh, only one tackler, which is pretty rubbish against these Vampires. Uh, but, you know, no strength, no edge, no mighty blow. Um, similarly, the Vampires lack tackle, which isn't great against Elves. Uh, but they've got a nice six guy with mighty blow, but no tackle. And a move up guy, so neither team's really setting the world on fire for Chalice. Uh, Guido Baggins has got an apothecary. But yeah, like they're alright, but ultimately when they come up against the power teams, uh, they're going to probably be found a little bit wanting. But you know, as it is, this should make for a pretty interesting game. I think it's going to be very tough for the elves when the uh, vamps engage. I tried at dark side, but uh, the game crashed last night. <laughs> so I, end I just ended the stream and started going from scratch. Yeah, it crashed, it crashed mid-match of the game, and so I just ended the stream and thought I'll continue tomorrow because I was really tired. Like, I was so tired. Like, I was so unbelievably tired yesterday when I was streaming, but it was probably better just to start a game anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the, the crash really sealed the deal. So he's got it very layered against the gazers and stuff, hasn't he, to come in and get the ball. But, you know, you have got to get forward. And he has got a dump off. So, you know, maybe you should take some risks at some point. Right? Like, if you if you just go... If you go super safe, you're not going to get any penetration. And you do need... You do need penetration. 100%. It's quite good on the power. Putting him in contact with the thralls. You know, it's only 1 in 36, right? You can't trap it. But it's a nice little... A sliver of equity, wasn't it? Uh, forcing that dodge out. A tiny little sliver of equity. about moving him first I think I would have done the dodge away first and then put him back down to here I guess this saves them from thrall blitzes which is actually quite good isn't it so, yeah. not ideal uh, ordering though right because if he fails this dodge then something could come through here Realistically, this guy can go wherever he wants at any time, so... <sighs> Defending the ball, even without Hypnotic Gaze, this guy could pretty much go wherever he wanted at any time, so... Yeah. All you can really do is... I mean, you've got, you've got dodge, and you've got dump off. Rely on those, I guess. Getting to tackle a vampire, very good. Tackler should be trying to tackle a vampire every chance he gets. That's sad. How old gaming Keith? Having 
Gardney. The ball doesn't matter too much when uh, when there's vampires around. Left the rest down. He might want to do something with the wrestle right if he got the power removal or whatever. And at the end of the day, I think leaving a leaving a player down before a one in twelve nine six risk is isn't so bad if there's any possibility of something changing. But also, it's just natural, right? I think that's the the biggest leak, if you like, or the most common leak in people's games is uh, is like unsafe. Two, D two dice blocks, right? In terms of weak against a 1 in 12, 9, 6. But seeing as it only matters 0.1% of the time, it doesn't really matter, does it? Edge 6 is really good on the vampire, right? Because it makes his hypnotic gaze better. So he gets the most... The vampires get the most value out of Edge 6. And I have had an Edge 6... Uh, Wood Elf lineman before, and it was amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really good. It makes makes multiple tackle zones meaningless. It's just really, really, really good. Really good. Not so good in terms of his movement six, but it, it's super good, especially for a vamp. Right, vamps get the most value. It's not so much the bloat, but like the opportunity cost of him having tackle, right? In this specific game, he might have rather had tackle on him. Especially if he's got mighty blow first. But, um... Add 6 in the Vampire is completely incredible. So I guess ideally what Igralius wants Guido Baggins to do is to go down the sideline but like leave the ball exposed so he shouldn't he shouldn't uh, overcommit to the side here and he should keep like he should keep the center strong enough that uh can't go through there tackle doing a thing I mean, not really, but you know, getting a tackle hit, good play. I don't like this. I don't like moving him there. Because if you've got the edge 5 there already, or uh, the edge 6, I just don't move the edge 6. This guy could have just been here, kept the centre stronger. Rampage isn't doing anything here, can't be hit here. So this guy should have definitely been here. 100%. And that makes this dodge out not so necessary either. It's a big, it's a big removal. Not really, but throw. It's still, it's still removal. And now there's a gaping hole where this wrestler should have been. And is this guy in really that much of a better position? Like you always got to think about activating your vamps, right? Like, was it worth, like, is, first of all, is this even better than the vampire being there and the thrall being there? And I don't think so. But second of all, was it worth, was it worth maybe eating a thrall? He's further away from the ball now, right? Like, if he goes for the ball this turn, the had six would have been closer. I just don't think he needed to. I guess he goes over here, but the ball can't go that far over here, right? I guess I was sort of thinking that he can go sideline. He can go. He can make the sideline from this square. But, um. Super interesting. Makes the gears there. So yep, edge five would have a three plus into here, but edge six just comes in on a two. Surprised he didn't. Uh... Surprised that he came in this turn, honestly. When like he had the other turns where 
there weren't as good dump off options, where that was a really good dump off option, right? You might have thought about running around and gazing him before he did the glyphs, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, Baron Bucky. My apologies. Yeah, this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. <laughs> Cast himself. That's brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he could have gone. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, so he would have had to dodge, but he could have come here and gazed him. Right? I think that's well worth it. Maybe even here, like here or here, gaze him, so that then at least the most desirable one doesn't happen. Obviously, he could still go to the witch elf, but the witch elf isn't as good as this one. Wrestle right, he's watched it, move up. So that would have been an idea to gaze him first. Obviously, he had him for recovery if he didn't, but uh, as, as it was, the edge six it was the recovery himself. Gets the 2D with the tackle, the, the lone tackler in the right place. Huge stun. I wonder if it's better just to pick up with a blood step and move up, right? It's turn six. It is good having it on the dump off, but you've got to get forward and score, and you've only got two turns left. Maybe he goes to there, and he goes there, and you punch this guy. He's going to get forward. You've got to get people forward here. I reckon get both move eights forward. Glorious. There you go, Baron Wookie. Diddle. Diddle helping you out. <laughs> You've got another 2D on the ball. Oh, blood lusted. Oh, feels a cheer fight. Dice. Oh, that is that is brutal, isn't it? <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> not only does he not hit, he uh, he removes himself for the drive. I mean, that was two D with tackle, right? That was. I guess he would have passed to the witch elf, but would have had minus two. Um, and now he can just hand off. Well, hand off to him and be away. Is the play for sure? Never GFI is dead as it was. Well, somewhat incorrect, but yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then can hand off. That's definitely a play, right? Because then you just out of range. Click on this one. Why can't I see how far this vampire goes? Flipping game. Mm. I mean, you can do that. Move this guy first, right? So that you've got him anywhere and in range. He's free to move. Yes, the ball could have been just untaggable if he'd just done the handoff first. I can understand the fear of not doing a handoff first. But, like, getting away from this guy, just giving an instant 2D on the ball is, uh, you know, it's something, isn't it? Double one, lovely. Another one? Oh my god. Wrestles and then runs away. 
Oh no, he can, he can bite even though he's wrestled. Is that correct? Oh, and then he stands up. What, and then bites him again? <laughs> what? And then he st so he stands himself back up after the wrestling. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Well done. Well done, Cyanide. <laughs> Oh, maybe this is why the re this is maybe this is why the game crashed last time. Okay, we're gonna have to just skip ahead because the replay broke. So Guido Baggins must have failed the handoff. The replay just broke then. Maybe he lost his turn. But it looks like it looks like he tried like I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, we don't know what happened then. But that that'll have been why the game crashed last night on the replay. That makes sense. I missed the handoff. Thanks, David. Yes, yeah, so it was just a two-two to score, and he failed. Diced. Comedy mega. Um. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Vampires. Oh man. Oh man. Um, okay, so, yep, we've got problems with the replay, because I guess because of that bug. <laughs> oh, at least that, at least that. I never, I never know, I'll be honest, you know, last night when we were commentating, I don't. Well, it's hard to pay 100% attention to the game, isn't it, when, uh, when you're chatting away. But, um, yeah, that, that bug would have been what caused the... Uh, what caused the crash? And then sign I'd have the cheek to say check your drivers and stuff. Outrageous. Good afternoon, Guido Baggins. There you go. The man himself. And how old are yeah. you? Yeah, glorious. Glorious chance. FBI. Oof. Oof. Five versus three. Pretty decent for the uh, for the elves actually, yeah. Like considering there's one of five plus. The hatch six is down, which has jump up. And like it doesn't really matter in defense much anyway. Pi, you can be crushing for the offense, but rarely for the defense. Yes, Guido Vagans, it crashed the replay as well. <laughs> it crashed the replay. The first. We did this last night and it crashed the, it crashed the replay. <laughs> well, I crashed my game. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's a, great, a great bit of programming from Cyanide. Going to be fun when... Uh, when vampires finally get reworked, presumably, and uh, I think they're meant to be next, aren't they? I think they're meant to be next in, uh, in the line. That's what the that's what the insiders tell us. Uh, Amazon and vampires. Presumably, they will change them from animal savagery into like offer a bite or something again. And uh, if they do, that's going to be a million bugs in Blood Bowl Three. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully ten. Huh? There are ten to do. I don't know how many we'll get we'll get through, but uh you know, I'll do my best. It's hard, it's believe it or not, it's hard to like talk all day. <laughs> uh the Andy Devo face up here is because of the uh Blood Bowl Super League where he just chose the default logo, which is this one. And for some reason, it didn't replace them on the pitch. We, we had custom logos that replaced, um, that replaced the logos with custom logos, and then, um, and then what happened was I just didn't change them. 
<laughs> there's occasionally there's an occasionally a Mr. Page logo, but people don't use that as much. Whereas you see this one a lot because people use the default logos a lot because people don't really care. <laughs> who who knew that people don't really care about logos and shit? is uh, pretty brutal. Both apples gone now for the Dells and out for the guard. Apple gone for the Wamps when I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely uh, Blitz Rannick an extra hit. Though, not that lovely, right? Because the push here Leaves you switch in, but it's fair enough. But he gets the power, gets the payoff. Uh, Zinge from Rebel did it, man, but and, uh, it only shows up for yourself. But it's, it's kind of fun. Oh, that was a rowdy block. Doesn't sidestep onto the ball. No Thomas T step here. I quite like the Thomas T step. I mean, I know he just gets blasted by tackle, but still, make him, make him do the hit, I would say. Looks like he's going to do it anyway, but on three dice. Him. Was it really worth? Ah, oh, well, you've moved him there anyway. Okay, that's, that, was, that was probably best. Then, wasn't it? Oh, I'm blitzing from inside. Oh! Because of how to do all that. Oh, and then Kaz himself. <laughs> Kaz himself on the dodge away. Well, the elves are suddenly in this, right? It was, although they've, they've lost a few players, the vamps are down the loads, it seems. No, they still got 10. But I guess with this guy being down, this guy being down, opens up to a bit of pressure. No, it wasn't wasn't great. I I didn't like the non the non Thomas T step. I really like the Thomas T step and, and, and the ball. Well hopefully I can keep going till 10 10 rupees, so might get all the games done by then. Yeah, so then yeah, and then the other two matches just aren't getting played it looks like. Diddle staying in for as long as possible, a classic strategy. <laughs> Playing last. <laughs> Playing last to stay in the competition <laughs> for as long as possible. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Though I've got one of the best possible matchups, to be fair. Better than the one Hancock got. Way. <laughs> Now recovers. Locks his dodge out there. I quite like dodging out. Interesting. Nick is one of the people getting a buy. Nick and Andre are getting buys. I mean, almost certainly. Their opponents haven't replied. Don't take the ball again. Yeah, 
you know, this is the best way to play, isn't it? Just let the opponent kill all of their own players. And obviously he's he's uh, bit a few as well, so he's biting them and dodging them to death. Amazing. Guido Baggins can just exist into victory at this rate. Not choose it, mate. The extra hit there. The lack of tackle really is the problem here, isn't it? For the Germans. Well, and the Vamps. Ooh! That was pretty spicy. Vamps out man, but they do have the strength falls. We're we seeing a potato a little bit. No rerolls left. Okay, so that's pretty nice, isn't it? Oof. Uh, it's not a potato yet. It might be. It might be. If he makes this dodge, it's not. No, he doesn't. Uh, so there was a coach called Potato who used to just run his ball carrier forward with no protection, which, uh, yeah, this isn't really protection, right? <laughs> He's just got two assists in here and it's an instant 2D. Problem is though, yeah, it was right to screen this side because the tackle will be, it really sucks only having one tackle. But I don't hate going side step first because side step is better with the stats, right? I'd like the move eight there. You know, if, if that was a move eight tackle, it wouldn't be as good as a move eight blood step. Just this Dark Elf team just needed more skills, basically. Our old Dr. Boogies. Like it's, near, it's nearly a really good Dark Elf team. Doesn't even hit the ball. Outrageous. It's a little bit. I mean, that's a little bit. You could argue too conservative, right? I mean, it's pretty conservative. Understandable without the tackle, but still. You know, hoping you get another chance to stop Vamps is. Uh, <laughs> Camera moved there because I sneezed uncontrollably. <sighs> exactly, Brian Bucky, yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing for me crazy. Yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, it's just hoping that things fail for him, right? Which is. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it ends up being, he's in a pickle, isn't he? He's definitely in a pickle here. But it's, it's hard to hit a vampire carrier, isn't it? This is the thing. It's hard to hit a vampire character, a vampire carrier. So, like, when you've got the chance, even if it's not with the attacker, and maybe even if you're going to get a wrestler, it's just so hard to hit them. <laughs> that I'd want to take the chance. But yeah, that was like the conservative play, right? To put someone else and surround him. It, it, it did, you know, it did hold him off for a turn. But basically, if you don't get the carrier down, you're just hoping he fails at some point. Oh, gets the pow. There we go. That was a bit of an unlucky catch, isn't it? If it had come out this way, that he could have had a. could have made off for the ball, right? He could have run down, hit away, he could pick it up past the two. As it is, this wamp is coming straight in to hit the ball. With Rackle. Ooh. 
wonder if it was worth standing up this vamp first to uh, make the catches harder. Yeah. Maybe even this vamp as well. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> Straight the edge six. Outrageous. Outrageous. Hello, physics. That is absolutely fucking outrageous. <laughs> well, it lets him. It lets him screen off, right? And he's, he only needs like he's got the reroll for it. If he uses rerolls on scoring, he just wins the game. I guess there is a chance the one turn, isn't it, with movement eight? Watch step. And the vamps have only got one side step. We've got the two. We've got the two D. One, two, three. Oh. Gone through here. Get to the pal. Not sure about moving. Oh, oh yeah, there's this guy for okay. He's in the way though, right? For cutting the corner, the best part. I don't like. I don't like this one. Because the best corner cut is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that guy did get enough in the way, but. Didn't pick up the ball. Uh, not know this guy was at six, <laughs> but yeah, that that that's what stopped it, right? That's what stopped it. This guy, this guy was a mistake. Like I didn't like it when he went there because it's cutting off the corner, and obviously he had the idea to hit the ball this way, but you do want to be able to come through this way. And that movement guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatever. I don't know where he was. But cutting that corner is really nice. But yeah, I should have definitely picked up the ball. I mean, you have to try and pick up the ball. Can't move the ball on the ground against edge six. Yeah, it's nice turn from Agralius doing the right things. Does it roll some twos to score? There is the problem. Oh, I don't like this block. Because, like. Just because of the, just because of the, uh, I don't like moving him either. Okay, well, moving him's just terrible, right? Moving him, to, yeah. This block was unnecessary, right? You can just, just dodge. You've got, you've got dodge. You know, just make the extra dodges. Go there and hand off. This, this, this movement is just literally terrible. Like I've done the same thing, right? I've done the same thing, but it's, it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> because this could have just been a handoff <laughs> and instead it's a GFI <laughs> and a pass <laughs> but yeah I, I mean I have done the same thing and we've been why the hell did I do that I guess maybe you, you could argue if you bloodlust on it then at least you, you don't trip and die with your age 6 but yeah I mean that was the problem not picking the ball against age 6 it's just, it's just easy isn't it it's too easy it's just rolls some twos especially when they can gaze the tackle as well right? so they just make it really easy but yeah only one side stepper so this is possible Like, very possible. <laughs> it's just possible. It's just possible. 
It just is possible. <laughs> yeah, clever putting the size up in the middle, right? So that because what you do is, if you push him and push him to there, and then push him again, you can use the hit on him to get the like the third one. But uh, now, obviously, you can't because the side step. Well, here he hasn't got enough players to, to crowd the box, so here he has to backline. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a big question, Baron Bucky. That is a big question. That is a big question. Generally, backlining is going to be all right. Oh, yeah. Exclamation point OTS, maybe? Oh, wow, Blitz. There you go. There's all your one turning needs. Thanks to the best in the world. Yeah, yeah, Blitz. Well, I don't know about that, Stephen Taylor. Like, that's easy, right? Backlining is never going to be terrible, right? Backline is never going to be terrible. That's the easy answer. I wouldn't say the I wouldn't say it is the answer, but if you just backline as out of habit, then it's rarely going to be terrible. Yes, yeah, it re really should mark every turn on the other. Yeah. If he had been marked. Then, uh, this guy would have still gotten away, right? This guy would have still gotten away. But this isn't bad, actually. He didn't catch it, so it's totally fine. Yeah, you got to dodge here to get the hit. Lovely. Oh, we're going to go this way. Oh. oh, well, that's... Okay, so he could have followed. So he could have blitzed with any... But this guy could have done the blitz, and then he would have been here to do the extra hit. He didn't follow. Oh, because he's going to be there for the next one. Oh, that might be actually good to not follow there. Oh, and then hit with that guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is probably better than what I was thinking. <laughs> so well done, Rudolf Wagons. Can he, f can he fill all the squares here, is the question. And he can, can't he? Lovely. Reroll's gone, though. Really nice. Three plus in is all right, isn't it? Inside second to there. Four. Beautiful. Beautiful cars. And then fails because of the blitz. Oh my god, into death. <laughs> well, there you go. Classic. Similar, similar to Devo versus Dio eh, with that one. Fantastic. Um, well, there you go. Congratulations to Agrelius. Commiserations to Guido Baggins. Yep, I mean that is typical Blood Bowl reward reward that is the typical Blood Bowl reward for a good player, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do exactly the right thing. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your dead player. Um It was interesting, it was interesting. It was it was tough for both sides, right? Only having the one tackle to, to kill all the bludgers. Uh, well not even kill it, just deal with them, right? It was really hard for anyone to deal with anybody. Uh but yeah, I mean nearly got it, right? The the biggest thing was just not picking up against F6. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.